Port uh, in northwestern Tasmania. Joining me is a local member now, Sid Sidebottom, who's also the Parliamentary Secretary for Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry. Sid Sidebottom, thanks for your time this morning. First of all, on this increase in the Medicare levy, how will that be received in your electorate? I think most people would regard that as a very reasonable and fair way um, to get funding and to give certitude to funding for a very, very important uh, scheme uh, that can affect all Australians at any time in any place. And I think the good thing about uh, using the Medicare or increasing the Medicare levy itself is, one, it's a lot more transparent, uh, and secondly, it gives that certitude, at least uh, in part, to some of the important funding to get this scheme underway. And remember, that's what we're doing. We're actually trialling parts of the scheme, and this funding certitude, if that's uh, what the Prime Minister announced today, I think will give a lot of heart to people. People. It's a very, very important national scheme uh, and it's a very, very important national priority. And um, I think Joe Hockey, despite all the huff and puff that he was just going on with, as he always does, of course, that's, that's what he has to do, um, I think uh, that it's very, very important that we get bipartisan support for this and I think they'll come on board, frankly. In your capacity now as Parliamentary Secretary for Forestry and, and as the local member for Braddon, We've seen this deal done in the Tasmanian Parliament, uh, a peace deal as it's described, ending, designed to end three decades of the, the forestry wars, but already the Greens are split. The Greens leader federally, Christine Milne, doesn't support the plan, so it's not much of a peace deal, is it? Well, uh, you can describe it uh, how you like. Look, I think this is very, very important, and I think it's really important that people take a deep breath and just calm down uh, over this. The important thing is that we've imposed in the past solutions from government to industry, uh, to uh, those parties that uh, have an interest in this issue and to our communities that are affected by it. We've imposed changes, we've imposed legislation and so forth, and it hasn't worked. This is the first time that people that are and will be seriously affected uh, by the downturn in this industry, the need for the restructuring in the industry and the changes in the market forces that are associated with it, this is the first time that they've sought a bottom-up consensual solution. I think that's a remarkable thing and particularly in Tassie which has been used as the crucible for a whole variety of political groups, parties, interests uh, to uh, uh, to bash this industry uh, till we reach a point where we are today, that this is a significant change uh, in approach. And the Tasmanian people are tired of the conflict that's been going on and surrounds this industry over so many years. It's been going on for 30-odd years, and I say to the Greens, and I say to those marginal parties on the outside that never seem to accept the umpire's decision or the people's will, I'm saying to them, give this a chance to work let it uh, play itself out. Uh, there are a lot of factors at work here and importantly this community wants it to work. And one of the things that the community needs of course is a boost to jobs. The Comsec State of the States report shows that the Tasmania or recently showed that the Tasmania, particularly northern Tasmania, remains in the, the doldrums, sit side bottom. The Prime Minister going to be visiting your area later today apparently with a jobs plan uh, it's vital, isn't it, given it's very much in the slow lane of the, the two-speed economy, isn't it, that area? Uh, well, it indeed is, and it shares that with a, a number of places throughout Australia uh, that are being challenged by a whole confluence of, of different factors. Um, yes, this government has always been about jobs, maintaining jobs and growing jobs in a very much a changing economic environment in Australia. And remember, we're part of the global economy as well. And, um, you know, uh, that, that, of course, impacts, particularly if you're an exporting uh, country and or an exporting 
exporting state like Tassie is. So many of our resources are used for export. It's been seriously affected by the Australian dollar and of course changes uh, in demand overseas, prices from overseas and of course uh, uh, the markets that continually change as well. So uh, we have to look uh, to doing things in different ways often. Uh, that's painful. Uh, but we need to do that. That's what this government's been trying to do, is, is support change, uh, to nurture that change and to sustain jobs here in Tassie. And uh, this government has a fine record in trying and attempting to do that. And uh, the Prime Minister again will continue uh, with some announcements today which are in line with uh, changes okay. to um, in terms of our climate and also efficient and effective ways to top of increase and improve efficiencies in manufacturing particularly. So that's going to be good news today. Okay. Sid Sidebottom joining me live from Devonport. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. We're going to cross live.